All right, we are doing the white gelding again. Um, and this is his first time saddling. First time I've saddled him. Supposedly he was started. I don't know how much he knows or doesn't know. You will see that I did put leg wraps on him. I do like using leg wraps on a horse. Um, I just don't like accidents to happen. And so <clears throat> I've flung the lead rope and, and the end of the whip up over his back and such before. He, he's done pretty good. Um, here I'm just kind of checking out his, seeing what he does with the saddle blankets and saddle pad. He don't really seem to mind. He seems to mind more about those lay wraps than he does a um, saddle pad or saddle blanket. <clears throat> just kind of checking him out, seeing how he reacts to that. Some horses get real scared. You can tell that they haven't had one on but you can tell he's had one on he's not too boogery about it um just kind of going both ways see how he handles it and he's trying he, he's you know he's a little tight a little nervous but he's not doing nothing bad And so I'll get the saddle pad and just kind of throw that on them too. At first, if it's Colt that I know hasn't had this done, I'm not as carefree. I'm going to, you know, do it a bunch more. But for him, where I can tell he's had it done a couple times. I'm not going to worry as much. He's handling it pretty well. And so I'm going to go ahead and grab that saddle. I'll throw the saddle up on him. Just kind of wiggling it. Throw that saddle up on him. And you can see he's trying to pay attention. He's a little stiff. <clears throat> and he kind of starts to run me over. So I do get into his face. Haven't got him cinched up. But if he's going to buck and blow, now it's time to do it. Switch directions a little bit. He started to get a little ahead of himself. That's all right. And I'll go and kind of just jostle things around. See if I can't get his cinch figured out. And it's quite a bit. It was set up for a much smaller horse. So I do need to rearrange it there. And that's all right. He's doing a lot better than I anticipated. Um, I don't know his whole story of what happened when he was started. I do know that something went bad. And that is about all I know. So, the fact that he's doing a lot of this and he's doing pretty good, I'm actually really happy. And I'm a little surprised at the same time. Um, because I'm, I, I was expecting a huge reaction to see what you know I, I was expecting him blow up or do something um real bronchy or something that way and so same thing when I grab the cinch I'm gonna grab it I'm gonna just make it snug I'm not gonna cut them in half um it's kind of hard to see from this angle um most horses don't like being cut in half right away so I try to give them that opportunity the only bad thing is, is if they do decide to blow up you know, then the saddle is going to go somewhere. <clears throat> but I do like to make it just snug enough to kind of make sure that he's not going to have that saddle blown up and upside down under his belly. But he did, you know, he he sucked in a breath and he he held air. So, I mean, I know that cinch, if he goes to bucking, it, that saddle's going to go underneath him. And I'm just going to kind of see how he handles that. Lead him around a little bit. Try to get some air out of him. And he actually didn't do too bad. He kind of gets a little pushy. Where he don't want to listen. But mm -hmm. overall it wasn't that bad. And so I'm going to snug it up a little bit more. And I'll ask him to do the same thing. Try to get him to go away from me. He likes to come into me 
whenever I do that. And then he took off trotting instead of just walking. And that's okay. Um, you know, I'm, I'm going to eventually go back and say, hey, I, I need you to just, just, you know, just walk. If right now, if that's what he feels like he needs to do, I'm going to let him do. And here in a second, I'm going to ask him to change directions. He's not... Not doing the best at listening to that, but that's all right. I had to get a little firmer than I like to, and instead he decided he wanted to try go ahead and trot. And when we did switch directions, he decided that he needed to trot again instead of just walk. And he kind of got heavy on that in that lead line. Where I like him to be a little lo looser, a little lighter. And he's going to just have to figure that out a little bit. He don't like that, but mm -hmm. he'll get over it. Asking him to stop and slow down a little bit. And he's just, he's just dead set on going. But you can tell, you know, he's he dragging pretty good on that halter. And if I was just to hop on and ride, he'd be dragging on me when I'm in the saddle too. So the better they can be on the ground and listening and listening to cues, the better they'll be under the saddle as well. So he was doing pretty good with a lot of this. And the saddle, I think, brought out some of that fear and some of that hesitation again. And so he got tight, and he's kind of forgetting what we have worked on. And so now I'm going to just let him loose. Just, you know, maybe he needs to really blow off some steam, and that's fine. He can blow off some steam. I don't really care. Sometimes that'll help a horse to just kind of blow off some steam, and then they'll go back, and they'll get light again. And whenever I free lunge, I do make sure that they understand that I'm going to pick the direction they're going. They don't get to pick the direction. So I'm going to ask him to lope. And he's trying to poop, so I'm going to give him a second. Once he's done pooping, I'm going to be a little bit more insistent. And I would really like them to pick up the correct lead in front and behind. And there I'm going to ask him to stop, switch directions. Now, it's not always pretty. Didn't get it on camera. Um, but he likes to turn into the fence. I really dislike a horse turning into the fence. I find that they don't, they just don't seem to listen as well. They don't give you their eye. They don't give you their ear as well. Um, and so I do struggle that, with that with myself. And, and he's, we finally did get it at the very end of our session um, I did not put the whole video on this specific clip but we did work on getting him to just move off and then come back and actually stop <laughs> 